What's up, world? Lee here with Sticks, Strings, and Other Things, my teeny tiny and getting smaller little corner of the internet where I come to you every other week and chit chat with you about all of the crafty things that I have been getting my hands onto. Today is September 6th. That is the day I'm filming to go up on September 7th. And this is episode 46. Hello, welcome. If you have been here before, you sort of know what to expect. Uh, there's only so much I do. And if you are new here, I thank you so much for finding me. I don't know how you did, but I'm glad you did. And you are welcome, and I hope you find something that you enjoy. Feel free to click the subscribe -y button wherever it may be. I am coming to you from the Pacific Northwest, where it is still summer, and it is still sunny, and it is still warm. <sighs> Oh, I won't fall. <laughs> I want fall so much. <laughs> right. Yay. I really want fall, people. I really, really, really do. It's not here yet. It is not here yet. But it's coming, right? It's coming. It's coming. I hope. <sighs> I am ready for it. <laughs> Anyhow, shall we get into the reason we are all here? the crafting. I did a little bit of knitting. I did a little bit of cross stitch. I did some crochet. Yes, folks? Yes, yes, yes. I did crochet. Who am I? So, we shall start with my finishes. One of which is a crochet basket. Look at that. Look at that. This is a crochet scrap basket. I don't remember who. It's not really a pattern. It's more of a recipe. <laughs> and I just held a whole bunch of scrappy yarns together and created this awesome basket. Look at that. So many yarns. I used a nine millimeter hook. Giant, giant hook, which means this eight up scraps like you would not believe. It made me very happy because if I look over there, I see the pile of scraps that I have. I have a lot of scraps, people. I have a lot of scrap yarn, which is, it's too much to get rid of. But it's not really enough to make another project. But it's too much to get rid of and ay ay ay. So anyway, I made this and I love it. And I can so, so see myself making another one or two maybe maybe not we'll see we'll see i'm not much of a crochet person but i did it i very much enjoyed it it's got like i said these great handles look it's a handle where's another handle it's really kind of fun and it holds stuff and it it stands up on its own you kind of have to foof zhuzh zhuzh a little bit a little bit of zhuzhing to make it stand up but once you do the zhuzh it stands up just fine I love it. I'm not sure what I'm going to store in it at this time because I have a few too many options. Eventually, eventually I may end up storing in it one of my blanket projects when they outgrow the bags that I have. But we will see. Oh, I am drinking in my tea goth mug. Oh yeah. I am drinking just some basic Earl Grey because you can never go wrong with Earl Grey. And I personally love Earl Grey. It is the best tea on the planet. You can't go wrong with it, in my opinion. I mean, I have had bad Earl Grey, but that's because the tea was bad. Like, there are some teas that just aren't good. But in a good tea, you can't go wrong with Earl Grey. How about that? Oh, I've been cleaning, so... Uh, my allergies are uh, uh, acting up, so I'm a little, little sniffly. I will try my best not to do that too much because uh, ee, no one needs to hear that. Mm. Oh my goodness. Ooh, stay. The top of the bin that I have my tea on is canted a little bit because it's not super full anymore. Oh! <laughs> what? It's not super full anymore, so it's not bulging in the middle. So it's now sinking in the middle. I'm getting there. I'll get there. I'll get there. I'll get there. Anyway, back, back. That is not my first cup of tea today. So, I'm a little, hmm, 
mm, yes. but that's okay that's okay that's okay so that was my first first finish my second is it's a sort of finish it's living in my fat squirrel bag with all of the lovely wonderful library cards on it i mean look oh i know i show this off every single time but it's library cards people library cards i'm old enough to remember those anyway, living in here is my mostly completed bennett sister shawl by uh lisa no lindsay lindsay fowler and oh uh, i say mostly completed because it got finished very 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 late last night because i was so close to a finish so just, i'll just finish this before i go to bed and then it was 1 30 because i hadn't finished it yet so i need to block this today so i'm going to wash and block it today so that this curly bit at the bottom doesn't do that and it does the the nice the nice bottom I am still debating whether or not I want to put the three tassels on it that are called for in the pattern I think I'm going to I'm not much of a tassel person but I, th I think this one I think this one could be nice that's why I left the really long thing here and the really long thing there so that I can put the two tassels there and then the third tassel would go obviously in the middle now I was now nah, there it is I was here when last I filmed so I do 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 made it to the middle added the mohair do 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 and came to the end I did not run out of yarn <laughs> I knew I was right which means I have enough yarn to make tassels and that is the leftovers of my yarn. I am very happy with this. It's squishy and nice and it has a little bit of fun details. I used a US size 6 which is a 4.0 millimeter and the yarns that I used were McMullen Fiber Company in their Posh Sock which is an 801010 superwash merino cashmere nylon this is their literary S literature society landscape escape was the name of this set this was the other yarn this was their fluff which is a mohair silk and this was in the color more land heather which is a nice lavendery lilac-y oops lavendery lilac-y color so i will be holding whoop, those two together to make some tassels and this was the set. It was from the Literature Society set. And this was based on the tenet of Wildfell Hall, which is a Bronte. Which, since it was a Bronte color, I did a Bennett sister shawl, which isn't the Brontes. But it, 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 I couldn't find a Bronte shawl. <laughs> did the next best thing. It ended. Uh, details, weirdness, whatever. So yes, I am going to woo, wash and block this today and make some tassels to put on the three bits. And then next week, next filming, which is in two weeks, I will show it off again because then it will be truly finished. I just love, you can see, I just love its, its garter, squishy, wonderfulness. And then there's this triangly section of stockinette, which just... It's a minor detail, but it's pretty. And I like how the, the color kind of just shifts when you hold the mohair together. It's lovely. It's just lovely. I love it. And I'm going to take the pin off that showed where I was when I started, well, where I was when I last filmed, because oh, it's now done. Wow. It needs a good wash and a block. So that's why I'm not calling it finished. I like it. And it's a good size, considering it's just two strands of, uh, two uh, skeins, not strands, two skeins of fingering. It made, made a nice size shawl. Love. So that is my other finish. There were no other finishes. Nope, nope, nope. I, I concentrated on this. So let's get into the whips. I have, living in this lovely Paris bag. Mm, hiccup Paris bag. I have my modern folk embroidery Isabella's heart So I have 
of this uh, baby living in there. I am doing this on a one-of-a-kind Aida from Evertote. There we go. It's a Leo and Roxy one. It's an 18 count. And I'm using the Leo and Roxy flosses. As called for in the pattern. I am doing really, really well on this one. It's so much smaller than I anticipated. I keep thinking it needs to be bigger than this. But there we are. Oh, that looks really great. Ah, I'm so happy with this. <laughs> I am making this for um, my in-laws for their 50th wedding anniversary, which is next year. And look at that. Okay, I'm going to bring it forward a bit. Oh, so lovely. So lovely. I just love the colors and it is so sweet. But it's, oh, it's so dainty. It is so dainty. Dainty and sweet. I love it. I'm going to put their initials, their first initials here and here instead of the motif that is on the pattern. It's like one of these kinds of motifs that's in that spot. But that's not what I'm going to do. I'm going to do their initials because, again, I'm doing this as a anniversary sampler. Oh, it's looking so nice. I have a lot of this side filled in. All of this side is done here, except for the border. I haven't finished the border. And then I started working all in here and I am getting a good chunk done in there. And then I will, you know, complete the other side. I'm enjoying this piece. It's very lovely. It's working up pretty quickly and I don't know why, but I mean, I saw, I saw the size. I saw the, it's a uh, hundred and blah, 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 stitches by a hundred and blah, 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 stitches. I saw, I saw the stitch count, but for some reason I expected it to be bigger. <laughs> I don't know why, but I totally expected it to be bigger. And so I see it and it's just a wee little tiny thing and I love it. It's adorable. And ah, oh, the Leon Roxy flosses, glorious, glorious to work with, nice variegation, feel really good working with them. They're just beautiful, beautiful colors. And I don't use Aida very often. I, I prefer linen. But that color, um, I bought this as a kit from Evertote. That color was just slightly darker than what was called for originally. And I really liked that slightly deeper blue. I just love how the colors all pop off of it. And uh, I had to, I had to do it. And it, since it was a one, a one of a kind, it only came on the Aida. So, I bought it that way, and I think it is fantastic. Absolutely beautiful, makes me super happy, and things are going fantastic. So what else, what else, what else have I worked on? I have worked on my modern folk embroidery, another one. Uh, this is the mystery stitch along for 2022, and I am up to date. This is living in my Washington State Gay Ronton bag. And since I'm up to date now, I was able to cut this off of the entire yard of fabric that I had this on. So this is 40 count Tawny Buff by Sassy's Fabbies. I don't think she dies anymore. And whoops. I am using Almond M&M's Silk in the color Raven, using one strand over two on 40 count. And there is where the whole thing stands. And yes, I cut off the bottom. It is just the size it needs to be now. I do not have an extra yard, whoops, of fabric laying around faffing about with this one anymore. And that is glorious. So let's get up and see what I worked on this month. It was this section right here. Oops. So I have the border going around all pretty. I have this fun basket, this 
fun flower basket and this which evidently is a church but I think it just looks like a, a um, bell tower a, a town hall kind of thing um, there was one that looked kind of like this in Bruges that you could walk up and there was a bell tower and it was really really cool and so that's what I keep seeing so it, it may be technically supposed to be a church but I keep seeing a town hall so whatever and evidently this is some sort of fire shovel or I forget uh, Jacob says in the pattern but it's some sort of domestic shovel thing that I don't remember um, I did not fill in these flowers solidly with the black I used one of the offered substitutions so that it wasn't just giant black blobs like these top flowers now I like that the top flowers are that way I think that's fun but I also like the opportunity of kind of changing up some of the flowers so they're not all that way so I did take advantage of that for those and ah I love it evidently there's gonna be three people here and they're essentially jumping rope We'll find out next week next week next month when that when that comes out but I think that's what I read in the pattern oh I'm just I'm loving this I am loving this I am so glad I chose to do this one this year it's pretty and soothing and fun to work on and yeah I'm I'm loving it I'm happy that I am still up to date with it oh, <laughs> I am not up to date on many of my stitch alongs but I am up to date on that one and so I, I I need I need I need to stay up to date with it so that at least I can finish one of my stitch alongs this year on time that'd be great <laughs> oh well anyhow loving this it's delightful love stitching it love the charting everything is glorious you know I might as well just continue uh, it's all modern fork fork it's all modern folk embroidery today. Not quite, but practically. Living in this fun peppermint e type bag makes me think of winter, which would make sense for what's in here, which is Ruskin's Penguins by Jacob from Modern Folk Embroidery. I, I, I didn't realize I was working on so many of his charts, but I am. So here is Ruskin's Penguins. It's right on there. Right on. This is my 25-7 piece and I am up to date on it other than today. I, I have yet to sit down to do any crafting today. So I am doing this on a piece of Bestitch Me fabric 40 count in the colorway Scotsman using the called for Vicky, nope, called for Leo and Roxy silks. And here's where I am. So I have one can't be angry when one looks at a penguin. I have all of that written out. I have almost all the snowflakes up in here. I've got a good border going around. So now I just have the rest of the border, more snowflakes, and two penguins. About halfway, little, little tiny less than halfway. But I am about halfway done with this. I have worked on this for 36, 4? Uh, mid 30 ish days uh, just 25 minutes a day and in just that amount of time I have done this much which wow just 30 minutes and I am making some fantastic progress and absolutely loving it I think this one's just so sweet another one that seems like it should be bigger and isn't I don't know I don't know I guess I just keep thinking these ones are huge and maybe that's because I'm used to working on huge projects but these ones aren't I don't know and then oh I didn't bring the bag because um, I'm currently working on this one this is the piece that I am currently working on it is a new start I started the autumn lane stitchery dark queen of the earth I keep calling it dark queen of the forest I don't know why I want it to be dark queen of the forest maybe I don't know that is not the name it is dark queen of the earth and I constantly call it dark queen of the forest so if I call it dark queen of the forest just know I mean dark queen of the earth I don't, I don't know why I'm having issues with that I received um, the fabric 
threads and or specialty threads and beads from under the sea fabrics i did the nightshade colorway on a this is why i should have brought the bag i think it's a 32 count uh linen and i'm not quite yet done but i am there oh love it i am absolutely adoring this so i have the two little wingy bits on her on her to do I have finished all these greens this lovely silk lame which was lovely to work with I kind of liked it don't know if you can tell but there's a tiny bit of sparkle in the silk lame I did not get a sparkle fabric I just wanted no sparkle <laughs> like there's sparkle threads but I didn't want my fabric to also sparkle there's gonna be beads there's gonna I, there's gonna be enough sparkle I didn't need to add more I guess but yeah I have this bit over here and then this bit over here to do and I'm enjoying this I think it's very very lovely the fabric is really pretty I am still waiting for my needle minder because you know they take a while to get which is fine which is fine like uh, that's not a complaint not a complaint I was excited when I got this fabric and the specialty threads which meant that I could start it so I am not terribly behind for this stitch along we'll see if I can keep up I remember when I was watching everybody do Dark Queen of the Sea which I have everything for I bought it while it was the stitch along I just didn't start it on time and then by the time I wanted to start it, it I was so far behind I didn't want to start it there's somewhere in there a kind of logic I don't know what this one I'm starting on time but I remember watching the Dark Queen of the Sea and how pieces sometimes some months were very extensive but there was much stitching to be done and um, I know for some people it was a little difficult to keep up I, I'm hoping that doesn't happen with this one but I'm guessing that it will because it, it I'm guessing that it will I've seen the bits that they've shown you know the outline of, of the Dark Queen and uh, it's on a piece of fabric that is not tiny so uh, we'll, we'll see if I can keep up with this one. I'm hoping to. I am enjoying it. It's so pretty. And that is all of my crafting. I, I focused on just a few pieces this time and got somewhere with them, which felt really good. And now we can talk about plans. Yes, I have plans. My plans are keep up, keep up. No, first plan is to finish this first part of Dark Queen of the Forest. And then I will hopefully have that done before the next supernatural creature comes out on Friday. And then I will work on that. Knitting wise, oh, and I'm also going to go back to Isabella's Heart uh, because that, that is a, a gift stitch. So I'm wanting to get that done quickly. So those, those are what I'm going to be working on. Dark Queen, Isabella's Heart, Supernatural. I am making plans for my, my October stitching. I have plans. Oh, do I have plans. So many plans for my October stitching. I, 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 I think I need to scale them back, but I don't know if I want to. Um, I was going to do, what is it? It's a monthly, magazine monthly challenge group on Facebook. They're doing AB Singo this month, which is just cute. Um, they call an alphabet letter. You have it on, all the alphabet, letters of the alphabet on it and on an ABC, on a bingo board, all the ABCs except H this year. They took out H because there's 26 letters and there's 25 spots on a bingo board and then every day they call a number they call a letter it's an alphabet and you have to stitch a hundred stitches or one hour on something with that letter so I made this I was halfway planned through 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 that when I remembered I hate changing my my things that I'm working on every day I hate it I don't enjoy doing that so I decided, fine, I'm not going to do it. And then I realized I still can. 
sort of. So I'm going to kind of do it. I'm going to see if I can do 25 hours <laughs> on my Ceratotum Quaker, which has the entire alphabet on it. There's my ABC. And is also one of my WIPCO numbers for this month to get four motifs done on it. But if I can get... Don't you count... Phoebe wants to pounce her sister, and I'd rather that didn't happen. Um, or was I? Oh, I want to get 24 hours done on my Ceratotum Quaker, which has the alphabet on it, so ABC can go. So I'm not going to be doing it for, for prizes or anything like that, but it, it's my own personal goal to see if I can get it done, or with everything else that I'm doing. Huh. But Ceratotum is also one of my WIPGO calls this month. It's my square 22. Uh, square 3 is already finished. It, I forget what it was, but I, I, I had already finished it. It was a piece that I'd, I'd completed. So I only have that one WIPGO number to call, uh, WIPGO number to work on this month, which is why I'm trying to possibly do the 25 minutes on it. We'll see. All right, I'm going to have to separate my cats before there's a cat fight. I'll be right back. I'm back. They're just, they're acting up today cats. It is what it is. I just don't want a cat fight to happen while filming. It seems problematic. Anyway, where was I? Um, ah, plans, whip go, ceratotum, 25 hours. We'll see. My other thought <laughs> is I have to plan for a knitting thing that's happening in October, which is the Stephen West Mystery Knit Along. And this time it's called well, I don't know what the name of it is, but he's saying it's twists and turns. Twists and turns. I think there's going to be cables. Because a cable needle is called for. So I'm really, really, really hoping. It's going to be a whole bunch of textures and cables and twisted stitches. This is my hope. It's Stephen West, so who knows what we'll actually get. I'm trying to come up with an idea for my yarns. I have a tentative thought, which is it's two colors two skeins of two colors and then one skein of a, a pop. So, I'm thinking, maybe, let's see if I can hold these. I'm thinking maybe this. This, this, this is what I am thinking possibly might be my Stephen West twists and turns. So these two are Hazel Knits Artisan Sock. This one is Quill and this one these this one is Spanish Wine and then my pop would be Curl Up and Dies um, colorway Ati. Which is just this really gorgeous blue. So I'm thinking I'm thinking this one. We'll see. We'll see. I have another thought. I have an, I, have, I have another thought um, of Hazel Knit Yarns. Ah, we'll see, we'll see, but ah, I'm, I'm, I'm getting, I've already bought the pattern, and I'm getting really excited about it, because I enjoy doing his, his mystery knit alongs, I, I, no, not always enjoy the end result, sometimes I'm like, yeah, I didn't really care for that part, but I always learn something, and then when I wear those shawls later, I feel like I'm walking around in an art piece, <laughs> I'm just wearing some art, thank you very much, and I, it just, ah, I love it, anyhow, so, I have until October 6th to decide, which is good because, oh, yeah, no, I'm thinking, mm, we'll see, we'll see, we'll see. Anyhow, that is, that is potentially, potentially my, my Stephen West mystery knit along colors. I was shopping my stash, my curated art installation, and that's fun to be able to do. I really do enjoy it. Um, I love having everything all organized. It is making my heart pitter pat. I think I have all of my yarn except my minis put in to my spreadsheet. It's delightful. And then the other day I was in here and I was starting to organize my cross stitch patterns and I opened up a bin or I opened a little box and there was more yarn. There was more yarn. All I did was shut that, shut the door to the craft room and made myself a drink. 
Because that was all. No. 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 There is not more yarn. It's, no. 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 <laughs> oh well. It's fixed now. That is all inventoried again. It's all good. But oh man. It was just like, I, I can't. And I have all of my cross stitch now in bins that live over here. All of my charts. All of my charts that are not kits are in a couple layers. <laughs> several, several cross stitches. Start charts in several, several binders. But I love it. It's all cleaned up. I have this whole area cleaned up. This whole area is cleaned up. That whole area is a nightmare still, but I am getting so much closer. It's making me so much, so much happier. <gasps> Oh, so that's been another of my plans is, is cleaning all of this up and it's delightful. It's great. I, I'm not sure how to store all of my kitted projects. That's why I have this bin that's right here that I have my tea on and my notes and it's just filled, filled with, with cross stitch projects that are already kitted. And so is that bin over there kitted. And then a couple of these up here kitted. I did a kit parade a little while ago and I have a few things kitted. I just, I want to, I want to stitch everything right now. I want to start everything, which I'm trying to turn into next month. Next month I'm planning on doing um, 13 starts for October. There's a, there's a term for it. Athena from Stitching Goddess Designs runs it. I think this is her third or fourth year doing it. 13 starts I, there's a hashtag, there's a whole bunch of things. I'll put it down here if I remember what the actual name is, but she's done it a couple years. I'm going to try and do it this year. I want to do 13 starts. No, 13 projects. They're not all starts. There are a couple that are already started, like Autumn Lane's The Collectors. Um, I have Thriller going. I have, I have a couple other things, but I, I'm, that's my plan. That's I want, I want to start all the, all, the, all the spooky because it's October, which means I need to start decorating and doing everything for Halloween now because it's October soon, next month, and Halloween, which means the end of next month. But I, I need to start it all now because it's spooky season. It's spooky season. It's always spooky season, but it's spooky season. Spooky, spooky season, yes. This is another reason I want it to be fall. This is another reason I want it to be fall. I'll try to enunciate some of those words so it's not just a mumble coming at you. Right. Those are my plans. I have a few. We'll see what I actually get to. I'm, I'm hoping I can get to a few of those. Knitting wise, I don't know if I talked. Oh, that's technically October's plans because the knitting was, 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 was. Boop, boop. That one. I am going to be starting a sweater. It is a Skandir sweater and it is Norwegian and it's like the Chuk House sweater. I know I totally butchered the name. I'm doing it in some Rauma, Rauma Van. That's the yarn. It's a beautiful blue. I have my um, gauge swatch. It's in the other room currently doing its wash and block thing. Well, it was washed. It's now doing the block thing. And then I will check and see if I have gauge and then I'm going to start that sweater and hopefully have that sweater done before October so that ah, I have ah, hiccup. I have another sweater done because I want to do all the things. I want to knit all the things. There's like five sweaters I want to knit. You noticed I wanted to just knit like four summer tops. I knit one. I have like five sweaters I want to knit. We'll, we'll see how many I get. We'll see. My kitties. My kitties. So those are plans. Now, let's get into adding to my collection. I did okay when it came to knitting, more or less. <clears throat> I have my McMullen Fiber Company. The boop, boop, boop. 
fiber gallery. Oh, that's, that's them. I'm going to sneeze. Apologies. Right. <clears throat> Again, I said I've been cleaning. It's also Febu Fe February. <laughs> it's also becoming fall, which means allergy season. Again. Um, this is their art collection that I get every month. This was for August. It was Edgar Degas. The Dance Foyer. Foyer at the opera because you know Diga did dancers and this is the color it's a lovely lovely neutral it's in their posh sock which is merino cashmere nylon and I love it it's very pretty very neutral very lovely this is not yet in my spreadsheet so I best put that there so it can go to my spreadsheet the other one that I got was my September my September uh, sock squad from Farmer's Daughters Fibers. This is Moon on Rock City is the colorway. This is on their Highwood sock, which is the uh, Superwash Merino Nylon 8020. And I like it. It's, it's kind of a stormy color. And that will be a fun one. And then my friends bunch of them went on a cruise earlier in this month well earlier in October and it was in August it was one that originally I was going to join them on and then I got cancer and had to replace my roof and therefore the adult thing to do was to not spend that kind of money on are you a bad moth are you a bad moth are you a cloth moth you better not be a cloth moth. Okay. Right. Where was I? Oh, um, I had to be an adult and not spend that money because, you know, it was the right thing to do. But while my friends were touring the Baltic on a cruise ship, they bought me some yarn and some tea because my friends have met me before. So living in this bag, it's just a black, it's just a brown bag, so who cares, is this adorable tea, which is an Earl Grey that smells really good. I should have made it today and I didn't. So isn't that tea tin fun? It's just, whoop, let me, isn't that cute? It's just adorable. So I have this lovely, lovely tea and it's not gonna focus not gonna focus it's a foreign language over there <laughs> this was from visby sweden it's just lovely just so fun gotland which might give you a clue in to what kind of yarn i got oh yeah two skeins Two skeins of Gotland yarn. Look at that. Oh, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Look at this. Look at this. Oh, look at the color. This is not dyed. This is, this is just sheepy. Oh, and it feels so good. And I have no clue what I'm going to do with it. Not a clue. Not a clue. <laughs> but when I figure it out, this is going to be gorgeous, delicious, and fun. I've never knit with Gotland before. So, because of it, oh, it's so exciting. So exciting. Oh, I love it. And oh, it feels good. You can feel the lanolin. And it smells like my tea. <laughs> I've been storing it with that tea in that bag uh, to show and know. It smells like tea. That is not a bad thing, people. <laughs> not a bad thing at all. Ah, uh, so. I don't know if it's going to focus. There we go. There's all the details because oh, we don't want me trying to pronounce any of that. <sighs> I am so excited. And I, I, I can't read any of this. Like, I don't know if it's going to focus on it, but I can't read that. 
that's 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 a language I do not speak mmm but it's lovely so lovely and I cannot wait to play with it or drink the tea which if I was smart would be the Earl Grey that I'd be drinking today but I didn't think about it I'm keeping the tin too because that tin is just too fun like just yoink yeah, it's not gonna fit there it'll fit there I'm gonna drink that right so that is all a yarn he goodness except for a book salt and timber came out mm-hmm this is by Lindsay Fowler which is the same designer as my Bennett sister shop I think anyhow this came out oh so pretty oh my gosh if you can get your hands on salt and timber get your hands on salt and timber it is freaking gorgeous oh it's 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 the pacific northwest people <laughs> like even if, even if i didn't love all of the the pat well i don't love all the patterns but even if i didn't love the patterns how could i not love the freaking pictures oh yes yes obviously this is done by lane because they do absolutely gorgeous photos I mean, I should be showing you the, um, the patterns. Well, not the patterns, but the, the projects. This is a lovely shawl. I'm not going to show you the patterns because, well, that's, that's just not right. Ooh. Those mitts, they're lovely cabled ones. Ooh. Maybe, maybe, maybe that'll become some... Maybe my gauntlet will become some a hat and some cabled mitts. Then there's these socks. They're called marine layer, which makes me giggle. Which means they, they need to be in a, a, a gray, in my opinion. Gray, in my opinion. There's a nice hat. There's this sweater. called the Lighthouse Keeper. And it's done in multiple sizes. Gotta enjoy that. I, I mean, come on, the pictures, look at this. Ah, oh, too lovely. You have the bowline wrap, which is just pretty. Oh, I wonder. I probably don't have enough yarn. Oh, some more socks, a capelet. Oh. It's making sure that the stuff on this page didn't didn't show pattern, and it just shows you know, the measurements and things like that. So that's what. I thought. Yeah, look at the details on that. Isn't that just pretty? I loved that. So my rule for most most books and magazines is I have to want to knit at least three things. Minimum. There were more than three things in here that I wanted to knit. So, obviously it came home with me. I mean, I could just keep showing every single picture in here. I, I'm not going to, I promise. <laughs> I'll stop now. But, oh, there's shawls, there's oh, this cardigan which just looks, I don't know, comfy and like I want to be on the Northwest Coast in a storm. Because, I mean, why wouldn't I, but why wouldn't I want to be? And the pictures, come on. They're just fun. And there's a blanket, which I, I don't know, I just, I love the Pacific Northwest. I love our beaches. I love I love the ocean in a storm in the winter and the fall and the spring and whenever else it's going to storm. I love it. And this book just made me super happy. So I had to buy it. So I did. And <clears throat> Pacific Northwest, we're beautiful up here. So that's the end of the, the knitting things 
And then I decided, you know, I don't have enough stitching. One is my Fabric of the Month by Be Stitch Me. Not another sampler. 40 count. Lovely color. Lovely neutral. Gorgeous. And then, well, there was this Needlework Expo that happened. And I bought two charts from a business. But then I bought two charts from a designer because, I mean, she finally gave me goth chicken. Well, not gave me, but she finally released goth chicken. I had to buy goth chicken. I have wanted goth chicken since I first saw it. So I had to buy this. And when I was watching Stephanie's floss tube, she'd mentioned that if you bought it from her, and you said, hey, can you draw me something on the back? She would. So I have <laughs> this fun little vulture dude. Happy spooking. So I had to buy this from her. This has six things in it. It has the shiny things needle book too, which I really thought was cute. And a couple other really fun things. I, they're going to be very hard to show in here because of the patterns also being in here. Often on the opposite page of the picture. So I can't really show it very well. But I had to buy goth chicken. Had to, had to. This is one of my starts in October because goth chicken. Come on. And then I had to buy Bury Me With My Needle. I am going to change the verse a little bit because um, it says, Bury Me With My Needle and some linen in my hand, for I would not be idle when I reach the promised land. Well, I don't, I'm not Christian, so no promised land for me. So I will be slightly changing the verse, and I think I know how I'm going to do it. And I am also going to, um, the lady in the coffin. And that is a coffin, not a casket, because it is coffin shaped and has a removable lid which would make it a coffin. A casket is rectangular and has a hinged lid. Just so you know. In the coffin is the lady. And I'm going to make her more like me. I don't know when I'm going to start this. Maybe in October. Maybe not. Maybe this will be my birthday start this year because it pleases me. And that is my plan. I loved it. I just thought it was cute. Slightly gonna change the the words. Gonna make the lady look like me and dress her like me. And I loved it. I just it made me happy. So goth chicken and this. And then I've been meaning to get these for a while, and so I finally just bit the bullet and did it. They are the uh, who did these? Brenda Gervais. The uh, summer school house set. So the A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, B, Q, R, S, T, U, V, and W, X, Y, Z. Because I need more alphabets in my life. Because I still haven't figured out my alphabets, evidently. So I had to buy these because I've wanted to do them for an age. So I finally just bit the bullet and did it. And I bought some um, just basic um, platinum in, in the 28 count because these are done over one. They're done over one. So they're teeny tiny adorableness. So I bought 28 count and I thought the platinum, I don't even know what's called for, but I thought the platinum would go well. What is called for? Mushroom. 28 count mushroom Lugana. Yeah, I did 28 count platinum linen. I, it'll be fine. That was what I wanted. And I don't know if I'm going to use the called for colors or what I'm going to do, but I, well, obviously I'm not doing the called for colors because I did a different linen, whatevs, but <sighs> thread-wise, not fabric, thread-wise, I don't know if I'm going to do it, but I just, yeah, I decided to finally get those. I've had them on my list for an age and I decided to just do it. Maybe, I don't know, 
I don't know. That was what I decided to do, so I did it. And that is all my new acquisitions, my new collection. It will have to be put away accurately and appropriately, and it will be. Other than that, yes, kitty, there's stuff in here, I know. Hi. Apologies. She's gonna bump the tripod. This is not Stella, the large one. This is her sister, Phoebe, who's smaller. And so, she's, she's just wanting to say hello, so I, I best pet her. Because if you don't pet the cat, when the cat demands it, you have issues. What do you see? Oh, the paper bag oh, that my yarn was in. She's got to check that out. Right. Uh, yeah, so that was, that was, that was collection. Life. I'm just randomly doing my everyday thing. Nothing, nothing really interesting or new. Um, continuing to inventory and put things away and get things organized and straightened out and figured out. And yeah, that's, that's basically that. Working my, my one day a week still. Um, hopefully going to be doing some more. We'll see. I'm still getting exhausted more often than I think, think I should, but yeah. So we'll see, we'll see, we'll see. I am, um, yeah, nothing very exciting. The, the kid is uh, the head coach for his climbing gym. Good on him. The guy has started doing some work travel again. He seems to enjoy it, so good for him. I wouldn't enjoy it, but... Well, it depends on where he gets to go. Sometimes he gets to go some pretty neat places, and then I would like it. But other times he gets to go to places like Des Moines, Iowa, which nothing against Des Moines, Iowa, but if you get Des Moines, Iowa or Milan, I, I mean, which one would you choose? Which one would you choose? I, uh, Milan, of course, you would go to Milan. He's been able to do that. <laughs> so, eh, what else? He's doing some domestic travel, so it needs to happen too. Other than that, I desperately want it to be fall. And I have more cleaning and organizing to do. And I want to stitch all the things, knit all the things, and, oh, have you seen the bat? For um, the, the Cottage Garden series, their woods thing. Have you seen the bat? I haven't gotten it yet, but I'm on an auto ship, so I will. The bat looks so cool. <laughs> I'm going to be, I hope, stitching that next year. Again, I have a million plans. I want to start and stitch all the things. I have no clue if I'm going to do it. I have no, I can't stitch all the things, but I really want to. I really, really want to. If you see something that I have, that I have shown, that I have held up, that I have talked about, and you want to start it with me, or you want to start it also, let me know. Maybe that will just push me into starting it, and starting a few things could be good. Let me know, because if you do, I'd, I'd love to start stitch things with others. Oh, it would make me happy. I really would. Right. I am babbling now. So I'm going to let you all go. I will download, upload, did it, edit, dance, do the things, do the blah, 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 do the zhuzh, do the buzz, and get this all done. I will. And this will go up for tomorrow morning. And right. May your gauge be accurate and your borders meet. And I will see you all in two weeks. Where we'll be that much closer to October. Yes. Oh yeah. And 13 stitches of October. That might be the actual name. We'll have to see. Right. I'm excited. I'm going to go. Take care, everyone. I will see you all in two weeks. Bye-bye.